All right, gang. Several months ago, I mentioned in, uh, in previous videos, some previous videos, that one of my favorite places to go when I go looking for stuff, a few counties over, they lost their lease. Uh, well, somebody bought the entire complex and kicking everybody out. So I've been going over picking up stuff on sale and fairly cheap. One of my last few trips over there, I mean, the building was almost empty. There was some neat stuff in it, but nothing I was interested in. Took, but tucked away in the corner was this fire truck. Now, as usual, when you see fire trucks or pedal cars that had accessories on, most of the time the accessories are gone. The bell was on it, but it was so rusted and beat up, and the little ringer thing was missing. The light, the, the chrome part of the light was still screwed to the hood. But the, the, the internals and the dome was missing. It had one of the red hubcaps. It was missing the, oh, there's one of the pedal tractors that I'll leave on the front porch. Oh, I got a story about that too. Uh, it'll be a little bonus. The ladder racks, I, I bought new ones. And those ladders, I bought those as well. Now, I have theories. And of course, you know, well, one theory. And I'll show you what that is in a little bit. Uh, about why there's extra screws in the back of this fire truck and people my age may may or may not agree so let's check it out the wheels are original all four they're in really good shape the hubcaps as I said I got one original one it was red and the other four brand new replacements but uh, I bought them off of eBay and the prices for four replacements were like 40 50 bucks and I came across these I, I just couldn't keep sinking money into it These were on eBay he said uh, pedal car uh, new pedal car hubcaps and I paid 10 bucks for the set plus shipping Let's say $15 and you know you roll push it around or something and the uh, Hubcap one of them will pop off. I don't know why But that's the roadside Shot of the front Four stacked, uh, two stacked headlights on each side, um, and it has a sticker JW2508. And I wasn't paying attention to the 2508 uh, because here's the deal um, it had a other sticker stuck on it from way back when. I got them all off because they were like faded out, halfway gone anyway. It's got definition on the hood, and it's pretty good looking. Uh, front end I like trying to figure out what it's supposed to be modeled after and I'm thinking maybe like an old Chrysler or something Dodge Chrysler Plymouth car but I could be way wrong well, the lights brand new I got the light from someone so a company called Speedway Motors they're the one of the only places I find AMF replacement parts that are new in uh, AMF replacement parts for the pedal tractors are almost impossible to find so in the string, I, I just put that on. I don't know how long it's supposed to be, if it's supposed to be white or black. And I'll go into a little bit more detail if I don't forget about that as well. Now, you see the, you see the screws? They're cracked. The seat's cracked. A lot of play time. And then there was a screw right there. I found out later that they, they put mats in them, to, I guess to cover up the screws. They, would, uh, they were Velcroed or double taped in. And that screw secured it down to keep it from becoming missing, I guess. The ladders and the ladder bars. <clears throat> now, they made this from the 60s all the way, I think. Don't hold me exactly to it, but I think up to the mid-80s or early 80s, the same truck. And uh, they had different different type of lettering. And then uh, chrome hubcaps, red hubcaps. Uh, and then, uh, like I said, this one came with one red hubcap. I know the older ones had the ladder rack, but it, they were painted white, and they had a bar going across. I kind of like that setup, and I want to say they even hooped up higher. But, again, I bought what I could find, the cheapest prices, and the, even the cheapest prices wasn't that great. Now, these ladders, I bought at a trade shop. Before I bought this, I noticed these ladders at a booth in the trade shop several weeks prior. And after I started getting all these parts and starting to assemble, I decided I got to get ladders. 
ladders were crazy prices. So I went back to that trade shop hoping they were, these ladders would be there, and sure enough, they were there. They were painted white. It looked like somebody, they didn't even sand the wood, they just sprayed it. And I kind of like that. It looks kind of older. It doesn't stand out as bright, uh, but it, it, it does the job. I only paid $10 for both ladders. Okay, I now know why the wheel, the hubcaps keep popping off because there's play in the front wheels that's sliding in and out. They just knock both the hubcaps off <laughs> on the front. Now, never had a, a fire truck pedal car. I knew kids that had them uh, growing up. I apologize for the glare. Um, the uh, ones that I would see at yard sales and flea markets that were usually missing all the parts that this one was missing, including steering wheels. Uh, if if it had the ladder racks on them, you can sit there where you painted white with a lot of rust. Where the I'm sorry, I'm looking over the camera again. They would if they were white, they had a lot of paint loss and a lot of rust where the hands were at. Uh, steps were always bent down, and these panels here were always bent out or in really bad. So this one is not in that condition, fortunately. Now these, my theory I was talking about, it's not going to come, well it might, you see those two screws, there you go, see those two screws and the, the old dirt stain? Now for those of you who grew up in the, in the 70s like I did, I don't recall the year, and I don't recall the, uh, the cereal company, almost said cigarette company, but one of them was given away in the cereal boxes, miniature license plates of the states, and uh, I had one somewhere around here and I can't find it, but I think that someone screwed a license plate right here. Too bad it's not on there, but if I find one and if it fits, I'm going to put it on here just for nostalgia. And then there's a shot of the pedals. Now the pedals are sitting to, uh, to the closest position, so it was, it, and it doesn't look like they've ever been adjusted out, because I think there's two more positions you can adjust them. And the steering wheel, same steering wheel as the tractors had, of course. All right. So I've had a couple of people wanting and wanting to, me to repaint this to restore to 100%, but I can't do that. It's got to show it's it's war uh, play wear. I'm about to say war wear. Um, it's a cool pedal truck. It's going to stay this stay in this condition. Uh, I got to figure out how to keep those wheels from sliding and popping the hubcaps off. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but I'll figure something out. But that is my AMF. Oh, something I was going to point out. So it says unit 508 on the side. And the tag JW2508. And also, if you look, I hope it comes out. It looks like somebody took, a, a kid took a nail or something and just scratched all through the grill. But it's not going like I said, it's not going to be repainted. So, all right, you see the hubcap right there, fell off the other side. I'll put it back on. I put the truck back in. Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm out of room. Uh, I got to figure something out. I was actually in my shed yesterday for about four hours trying to rearrange where I can put these three tractors and three pedal cars in there, and I have no room for them. The uh, the instep fire truck will stay in the office where it's been. Uh, yeah, it just it just needs to stay there. It's been there since I've had it since 2006. Now the little bonus story. All right, so this is the parts tractor that's in a video of another AMF uh, pedal tractor I, I had. I bought it for parts, and it was in too good a shape. It was missing the engine. It had a bad front wheel. And I was trying to, having a hard time finding a front wheel for it. I found that front wheel at Lowe's. It's bigger. I think it's a nine inch, and it fit. Um, and the, in that silver engine, it was out of the one I had. That not the one I had. The one that most resembles the one I had as a kid in the 70s came with a silver engine. And in that video, I commented that I did not have a silver engine. It was white. Later, found out in the 63, 64, they had silver engines. But that engine has a whole other side of it, and being that this is going to be on the front porch, I figured, well, the, the replacement engine I bought, I stuck on one of the other two tractors. 
Oh, I have four tractors. Anyway, did engine swaps on all tractors, but let's, let's get back to the bonus story. When I was a kid, very few kids had any kind of battery powered ride ons. We all had pedal power. Now, a friend came over with his grandson, and my friend's got like what, five or six John Deere tractors that he's restored, and then he just loves John Deere tractors. So we're out in the yard, and his grandson sees the tractor, and he wanted to could he ride it. So I took it off the porch and said, sure, you could ride it. Uh, and he couldn't figure out how to make it work, because all his are electric. He has no pedal tractors. Well, you got to pedal it. So he wasn't having it. So he, and he's kind of a chubby guy. Uh, the train's coming, so you might hear it blowing its horn. I don't live close to the train tracks, but close enough to hear the horn. So, uh... So he wasn't having it. He got off of it because he had to work. Little chubby kid, not able to ride a pedal tractor because he, it was just too tough on the pedal. Man, that sucked. Kind of disappointed me because if I was able to get on this thing without messing it up, I'd be pedaling around my yard on it. But that's the bonus story, gang. All right, gang. So that's the uh, AMF 508 firefighter. Cool, cool fire truck. I appreciate you guys viewing and have a great day.